Three police officers in Bismarck are now back to work after a deadly shooting that involved a teen last fall. But for now, we still don't know how the teen got his hands on a gun. This video shared by Bismarck Police the morning of November 12th after they were alerted to gunfire on 3rd Street and Arbor Avenue. Witnesses told police that the teen identified as Nicholas Brewington had shot at them. Police pulled over a vehicle in the Kirkwood Mall parking lot and say Nicholas Brewington was in the car with his mother and brother. Police told all three people to get out with their hands up. They also say that Brewington's mother was telling them to comply or officers would shoot him. That's when police say Brewington yelled back, shoot me then, and reached for his waistband and he then went into the car and grabbed a gun and ran off. As he ran off, police say three officers fired, hitting Brewington. How did one get in possession of a firearm? You know, are there other firearms involved? So that part of the investigation continues to this day. We have had numerous requests regarding the body cam video and car video and reports. The Bismarck Police Department will be transparent regarding releasing that information. And we want you to know that there is over 140 hours of video. This is from body cameras and in-car squad cam cameras. The three officers involved in the shooting have since been cleared to go back to work. Bismarck police tell us after talking with witnesses, they believe that Brewington had shot at other people earlier in the night following a previous incident that happened and this appeared to be a retaliation. Nobody else was hurt from the earlier shooting. Brewington later died at the hospital. Police say the pistol Brewington was carrying that night was damaged by a bullet fired by a Bismarck officer. We asked Bismarck police and the BCI where the gun came from. They say that the matter is now being handled by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms and declined to say more. We'd previously asked Bismarck Public Schools who told KX News at the time the incident happened, Brewington was not enrolled in school.